Thank you very much uh, for being available for one more video blog of UCNC this year, the joint UCNC and the 6G Summit. 6G is definitely the theme for this year. Uh, a lot of discussions, a lot of uh, keynotes and panels and a lot of stuff really addressing what 6G may be. Uh, so, I mean, coming from where you come from, what are your views on, first on the conference, if you don't mind, but then definitely on the directions to be explored about 6G. Well, firstly, thank you very much for the invitation to, to talk about such things. Uh, it's nice to be asked an opinion and everything. Um, I see, and I, indeed the 5GIA, who I represent, see this, this conference, this EUCNC and 6G Summit, as one of the pivotal conferences or events in our calendar. So we've always tried to um, support it, be involved, and uh, often, obviously we had a joint event a few years ago in Valencia, which I think was extremely successful. So we see it as absolutely important and very much appreciate that the focus has now moved in that direction of uh, 6G, which is, is clearly where the industry, shall we say, the hype is going, um, where the interesting discussions are, what people wish to know. Of course, there is a danger in this that people think, oh, 5G is finished and we can forget about 5G. But it might be worth, especially at this stage where we're talking about 6G and what it might be, not to forget about 5G because 5G is actually the product that we are now producing and now using. It's a technology that we'll still be developing for the next you know, eight to 10 years and will do all the heavy lifting for a lot of these ideas and dreams and visions of a digital society that we have. Having said that, and having said that, you know, I think this conference is a, a major milestone on the, the, the way to 6G that we brought together the various different research activities and groups uh, that we presented what is going on, that tomorrow we will have this special session looking at smart networks and services, which my organization together with the European Commission are putting together to provide that European vision, that European research platform for creating leadership in 6G. With, 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 with that background, I, I think it's the right time to have this conference. It's obviously unfortunate it has to be electronic and not physical, but I think the content and the direction was exactly right. Of course, as you rightly say, what 6G will be, we don't know. And I find it very very interesting at uh, conferences like EUCNC, but also at other conferences where you're in panels and you will have three hours of people presenting saying, this is 6G, this is 6G, and this is 6G. And then people say, oh, well, why do we need 6G? And everyone, else, everyone on the panel goes really, really quiet. Now, now in actual fact, at, the, at this point in time, 6G research is more about the fact that we all have this cyclic nature to telecoms that every 10 years we tend to have a new generation. A new generation typically defining a, a, a new physical layer. So something which from a physical layer point of view isn't backward compatible. And it enables us to put in new innovations which cannot just be an evolution of the existing technology. And, and looking at that time frame, looking at 6G coming out in 2030 or a little bit afterwards, now is the right time to actually start that research, that fundamental research on 6G. Um, now what it will become, I wouldn't care to say. I think we know certain key technologies. We know about terahertz, we know about AI. Um, there seems to be a lot, of, a lot of talk about sensing, about having a, 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 a 6G network, which isn't just about communications, but it also provides the ability to actually sense where things are. In other words, a way of linking our physical and our digital worlds. And that's quite an exciting con con concept, which I come back to quite often, where that could change things, uh, um, both in terms of the ability to know where a machine or a, a component is going to fail before that happens. But even more exciting, I think, is the, the chance to use such technology with humans, with ourselves, where we could then model the, ourselves within the digital domain and actually know what is the best therapy? What would this drug do if we apply this to this person? And that's a very exciting area. So 
let's check uh, next year if these things are on the proper direction, right? <laughs> <laughs> it might take more than just one year. Yes, yes, yes. Absolutely. I think obviously next year we can build on, on the conference, the event this year, hopefully in person in Grenoble, and, and hopefully then we can um, start at least mapping out those technologies. So now, now isn't the time for defining what 6G is. Now is a time for investigating those candidate technologies, those various different building blocks and seeing what makes sense here. What are we trying to achieve? What are the use, possible use cases? What are the possible requirements? How can we best actually meet those? Remembering that we have global requirements in terms of security, reliability, and indeed energy efficiency and green ICT and everything. And we have to yes. keep all of that in mind as well. So it's not an yeah. easy task. No, nope. too many things to address, but it's okay. Then we have a lot of jobs for researchers. <laughs> oh yes, yes, we have more than enough to look at. Uh, if you if you if you look at the um, SRIA, which was developed by Network mm -hmm. Europe and and uh, with input from from other organisations, including the 5JA, you'll see the breadth of what we are trying to actually achieve in smart networks and services is is very wide, and uh, indeed much wider than, than the sort of programs we had for 5G with 5G PPP. So uh, there is an awful lot to do and an awful lot of new stuff to do. Thank you, Colin. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you. Thank you and very much. Let's see bye -bye. each other virtually tomorrow at the session. Indeed, indeed. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye.